Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to test your car's battery with the Autofix D1 Lite and the battery testing dongle. So first you're going to go to BAS right there. And then the dongle needs power to connect. So I'm gonna connect that to my battery. As you can see, my battery's from 2018, so it's about six years old. So it's might be coming up on time to replace it cold as could be so slow cranking doesn't really mean anything to me but it's definitely something to keep an eye on so I don't get strained. So once I've got it hooked up it should flash power and blue means it's connecting to the device. It shows connected here. So I'm going to go to the home screen battery test in vehicle test Then it wants me to plug in the dongle into my car's OBD port. Beeps to show that it's connected. So it'll ask me for my VIN. I've already tested this car before. And then for this, it asks for the cold cranking amps and the type of battery. So it shows here on the sticker on my battery that's 690 cold cranking amps, 12 volt. And I do know this is a flooded battery. It doesn't always say directly on it, but if there's vents like that, it almost always means it's flooded. So I'm gonna pick what's closest here and then I can edit it later. So my cold cranking amps are 690 looks like 700 is going to be the closest I can get and then I can drag here to adjust it so it wants me to make sure that all electrical appliances such as the radio speakers headlights etc are all off ignition is off and vehicle door needs to be shut Then it'll just run a test. That's removing the head charge, checking the voltage, all that. So my state of health is 95%, which means it's almost new. Most batteries start around 99%. I think I've seen two or three batteries that start at 100. State of charge, 52%, it's pretty bad. And cranking amps measured, 600 or 569. So. It's not what it used to be, but it's good to go for another while. So I'm gonna continue, and I'm gonna check the starter now. Ignition is off. Start testing. And I'm going to go start the vehicle. Because the dongle plugged in, it can tell when the vehicle starts. Tells me my starting voltage and my starting time, which is completely acceptable. I'll continue with that. And then it's going to have me check my alternator. So it wants me to turn off all electrical appliances such as headlights and AC. Most cars nowadays turn on automatically, so you will want to come over here. Mine is on my stick shift, on my turn signal stick. I'm going to turn it from auto all the way to off because running lights are automatically on. Continue. Now it wants me to hold my RPMs at two to three thousand. You're gonna want your engine to be warm for this. Then I'll tap continue. Then it asks me to turn on an electrical appliance such as headlamps. I'm not turning on AC because it's about three degrees out. So I have my headlamps on. Tap continue. Come on, my fingers are freezing. Now 
once again, I'm gonna hold it two to 3,000 RPM. And it asked me to release the accelerator. Press continue. I'm gonna wait for RPM to drop to the normal idle. Continue. Turn off the ignition. And obviously, I put it on auto, so my headlamps are going to turn off by themselves. Hit continue. And it tells me what the load voltage, non-load voltage, and all that. So, my alternator is completely fine. Then, if you want a report, it'll generate a PDF, and you can email it to yourself or the customer. So, it's asking for me to recharge my battery. It's incredibly cold, so that probably has something to do with it. Battery is normal, cranking is normal, and charging from the alternator is normal. So this car is good to go.